Hey, what's up? It's uh, it's Piggy. We're playing as Arthur today. You know what I'm Arthur. saying? You know. How many Shut up! Oh my God! Auto save Fished ruins everything. Today. Okay, let's hear it. You smell like you've been dead for two weeks. Oh, oh man, <laughs> that's a little intimidating when he stands up on his seat like that. That's a little uh. That's a good defense move, bro. Like, holy man, like, fucking scared me, scared me off. Scared me off, holy man. I'm not talking to him no more. Hello, Arthur. Hey, you Hello. seem like you put any money in the box. No, I don't think so. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Okay, what are what are we uh what do we what what do we have on the menu today? What can what can we do? What's this? Coach robbery Bill. Mr. Mill Oh go scratch your sores, you old bag. Excuse me? You heard <laughs> Drunk or sober, you watch your mouth. <laughs> oh, and you grab the bottle back? You grab the bottle back? Me You're kidding me. Peace. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I tell you what, when I got this shit smacked out of me for doing something, I didn't do that thing right away again. That's pretty powerful. That's pretty powerful. Where's where's Bill? 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 I've lost my mind, Mr. Morgan. Lost it entirely. Nice to see you too, Reverend. I've lost it. I used to be an intellectual. Now I'm just a fool. Well, <laughs> I've always been happy as a fool. <laughs> you all just laugh at me. I know you do. Your Reverend's me. What are you doing? Prepping for a robbery. I've had a good run of luck recently. Okay. Robbed a house up in Roanoke Ridge. Robbed a couple of drunken soldiers out near the swamps. <laughs> and what are you about to do? A stage. <clears throat> well, good luck. Well, do you want to come with me? Now, I was going to ask Sean, but he's too much of a hothead. What's the opportunity? A bank stage. And without much security. This feller was telling me about it a couple of nights ago when we was drinking. It's going to be coming right through, and the bank reckons the cost of security ain't worth the risk. Now, there'll be a couple of guys, but nothing too serious and lots of money. Easy money. Well, that's always the dream of every thief. Easy money. Well, like I was saying, my luck is in now, Arthur. Well, then, why not? Who are you taking? I think we need a girl. See, I got a plan in mind. Well, in that case, tell it. You free? We got some work. Ooh, taking Tilly along. Stagecoach. All right, come on. Let's mount up. Does Tilly have a horse? Okay, follow Apparently. me. Apparently. There's a good spot where we should be able to cut it off northwest of Dewberry Creek. And uh, you're certain this information sound, Bill? After that mess with the Cornwall stage, I want to make sure we're not riding in another army of guards. Yes, I'm certain. So what's the plan? I was thinking a little womanly distraction. I figured that much. But what's the story? Route, number of guards, you know, important details? Just do exactly what I say and you'll be fine, all right? How about we do exactly what Tilly says? I'd feel a lot safer. Because I've done all the groundwork on this. Next time she brings in a lead of her own, we'll all bow down, I promise. I'll remember you said that. You follow orders, you stay alive. That's what they used to tell me in the army. They kicked you out of the army. They did not. I 
beg to differ, Marion. Have you been going through my things? You shouldn't have left it out. Can you believe this, Morgan? I don't trust her any more than I trust that Kieran boy. I never have. Running with them foreman boys all them years. She could turn on us any minute. Just shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. You have no damn clue. <laughs> all right, just take it easy, you two. Get your minds on what matters, so we do this right. Let's cut up through the creek. I love this game. It's a good game. Maybe I'll put on my mask. Seeing as we're robbing a stagecoach. I'm coming through. Okay. You know, this was the spot we first picked out for a camp. A dry riverbed? Yep. Who the hell suggested that? Mike, I believe. Well, that don't surprise me. I love the atmosphere. I've never done this mission before, so genuine reaction. So the stage should be coming from over there. What do you want me to do? Well, you just act dumb and silly and get the thing stopped. You know, like you do. And what you mean by that? Oh, come on, don't get all precious and stuck up on me now. I don't like your manners, Mr. Williamson. In fact, I think you're an obnoxious idiot. What'd you say to me? I didn't say enough to you, you useless half-man. Half-man? Half man, what does that even mean? Will you two stop arguing? He started it. Here's a goddamn stagecoach. We doing this? Yes. Come on, both of you, follow me. What's the plan? There's been a change of plan. Yes, you act dumb and get them in the sky. All right. This is kind of breezy you now. For shots in the we need a little health potion. Bill, you fucked this up so bad. I was waiting for something cool to kill you. Okay, we stop the wagon. More people are gonna come over the wagon. Why is this wagon not stopping? Well, it's gonna run off a cliff. Good thing I have fast bro. Oh, what the fuck? I had to press Y to climb into the seat, and I just, I pressed Y, and I just climbed off of it. Okay, here's the clip.
<laughs> oh my god. That's so that's so ridiculous though. It's a little awkward to do in first person, I I admit. All right. So the stage should be coming from over there. What you want me to do? But just act dumb and silly and get the thing stopped. You know, like you do. And what you mean by that? Oh, come on, don't get all precious and stuck up on me now. I don't like your manners, Mr. Williamson. In fact, I think you're an obnoxious idiot. What'd you say to me? I didn't say enough to you, you useless half-man. Half-man? Half-man, what does that even mean? You two stop arguing. He started it. Here's a goddamn stagecoach. We doing this? Yes. Come on, both of you, follow me! What's the plan? Already biffing it again. Yo, they're lasering. Yep. There's sometimes I play this game and I'm fucking dead eye accurate, and then other times I play this game and I'm fucking dead. Give me a reload. Okay, let's get it. Good, 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 good. I'm getting alongside it, boy. Settle down. Oh my god, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. <laughs> you're kidding me. Oh my god, I'm gonna fail it again. I'm totally gonna fail it again. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> Okay, maybe we got it this time. Maybe. Cross my fingers. Oh my god, you guys are fucking silly. Settle down. You guys are you guys are actually ridiculous. Grab the loot from inside. There's people in here. I know there is. Don't fool me. Don't fool me. There's gonna be a big man in here who's gonna punch the fuck out of me. Watch. Damn, it's locked. You got some explosives? Sure do. Don't start giving me more crap about that Cornwall. Train, no, right? oh, you dumbass. I, I Unhook the horses it. first. Let's not forget you hooked up the wires, Morgan. How do we know you didn't mess it up? But entirely blameless, of course. I'll shoot it. Stand back. Bill, please. Can I unhook? Can I unhook the horses? Let me unhook the horses. Okay, we cut free the horses. Now let's shoot it. Split up, get the hell out of here. Okay, but you owe me my cut. Don't think I'll forget. I know, I know. Go on. I'll see you back at camp. Oh, 
Seventy-five dollars for that? I'll, I'm not being greedy, but I think I deserve more than seventy-five dollars for that. Girl. Okay, we need to eat. Try to do something. Um, and we need to feed our horse. Sorry, girl. We ran our horse kind of dry. Getting a couple things. Is that a buck? Is that a buck? Oh, now it's a one star. Well, we may as well finish it off. <laughs> Give me those antlers. Yeah, it won't that take pile. long, girl. Oh, it looks so nice in the moonlight. Got any valuables? Not a lot. Yeah. Where are we going though? Let's uh let's There's obviously story missions, we aren't done with story. So Hosea. Hosea how much money we got? I don't like what that noise is. Let's get a general. Yeah. Pump action shot on the slugs. I think this is the course of action. You want to eat a slug? Mess with me on my way to fucking do this mission, bud. I'll show you slugs. Slug. I wonder what kind of mission this is Hosea has for us. I hope it isn't anything uh, too crazy. I would hate to close off this nice chapter we have in the south. Yeah. We're running our horse dry. Give it a little break. I don't like to run completely out of stamina with the horse, because you never know what's going to happen, you know? Never know what's going to pop up. I think those screeches are raccoons. all this wildlife we're seeing on the way there that's pretty that's pretty nice I could be killing some of this wildlife or I could just let it be I don't really need it right now 
I don't have an objective in mind, so I don't even know what to hunt. Yo, that one stream where I lost the fucking three-star buffalo pelt, that pissed me off so bad. Like, you guys have no idea. Like, I, I legit just wanted to turn the stream off and, like, stop. I think I pretty much did. I think I only streamed for, like, 20 minutes after that. But, yeah. like, yeah. Because there, there's this cool thing you can make with the buffalo pelts. And you need two of them. I think it's like a buffalo rug. I wanted that real bad, and I have one of the pelts already. But that one that I lost would have made it two now, and I would have had that. Moves away from the mic to breathe. Oh, into the into the tree. Into the other tree. Okay, we're almost where we need to be. Imagine having a driveway this long, like, imagine having to get your mail at the end. Hey fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. I wish the cutscenes were in first person. to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliga Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal... <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on Earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. I wish you would drive. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat. I'm pull it clean out of his ass, the smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not only thinking this hell, but <coughs> I toy fitting my boot up. <coughs> no, just not the hell, bitch. Jose really picked the right feller for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons I'm in. I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really bury some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? He's the master finagler of nothing. 
Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the brake weights still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they've taken on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. We're almost where we're going. We're going to torch these tobacco fields. I wonder if we're going to get a buzz going. Oh, hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and... Stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> we're hiding in the wagon. We can change our position. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey! Hey! Hold it right there! Whoa. What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing. A, a, a thing. At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? H here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I I've come from Donegal in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies, uh, sort of business, eh? Uh, before the officials got there, okay, they said. Okay, Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. You were sneaky, sneaky as fuck. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> Uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, when they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> You don't know the half. Just in there. All ah, right, you are. Holy, oh, was is, is this play about us? <laughs> unloaded here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> I 
the place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Come on, Arthur. What are you playing at? I was enjoying the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. Where? Let's get on with this. I'm not the one who was dawdling. Okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. Pull him inside. <sighs> How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. already arrived this one didn't strange so what you got there tools payroll okay drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields sure see you later you hear that payroll yeah let's get this job done first okay just let me deal with our friend here You douse the fields, or I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. Can you follow me for you, Egypt? Douse the tobacco fields? to be sneaky. Sneaky sneak. Ruin the moonshine. Ruin the tobacco. Wacky tobacco. So fast he didn't hear us.
getting it good. I don't think I've ever done this mission this well. Should be enough for here. So good. Is this the last field? meeting Sean. I'm meeting Sean. I'm literally meeting Sean. I'm gonna douse this too. Is it like slow walking here? Come on! Look out! Here come more of them! Down here! Come on! You're in a situation! Oh, say you better get us paid real well for this! Bloody right! Holy man, this is intense. Hey, Blake. 
Let's go. Let's go. Man, the flames are coming. Okay, okay. let's get That's the hell out place. of here fast. You right, follow me. This might be the thing that gets us caught in this area. Jesus! That turned into a right party! You call that a party? That Blade Wade had got a money's worth, are they? Let's just get out of here first. I think we lost them. And we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Yeah. I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Yeah, I'll come back. Nice little montage, nice little, nice little thing. Look at that. Here we are, home sweet home. Can you let Jose know how we got on? Will do. Hey, you got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. How to get tobacco addiction 101 stand in a burning tobacco field. Christ alive. How much did I get? I got a couple bones, a couple dollars, a couple biggity bigs. Let's go toss a couple hundred dollars in the camp box. Got a mission with Maka. Give him some actual cash, too, maybe? Put a couple hundred in there. Okay, not all my money, like a couple hundred. Couple hundred, you know? No, maybe three hundred. What can I buy for this? Can I buy fast travel with this? Can I buy fast travel with this? I can buy fast travel. Ooh. For a hundred more dollars, improve everyone's camps? Yeah. Yeah.
For a hundred more dollars, I think so. Again, not literally all of our money, please. Let's improve everyone's camp. Improve everyone's camp. I mean, that doesn't look super improved to me. The overall mood of the camp has improved. Is that really what that does? Do I, If I go talk to someone, are they going to be all like, Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're great. Like, Morning, Mr. Strauss, are you all happy now? I'll get on those debts. Good, good. They better be. Karen, Karen. Good morning. Everyone's kind of like how they were in chapter 2 now. That's weird. It actually did make everyone happier, it seems. Hey, Lenny. Good morning, Arthur. <laughs> yeah, everyone's all happy again. What? Morning, to you. Plenty of room here for another. Still here, then. Well, how charming. <laughs> okay, we need to eat. Uh, we need to eat. All we have is cigarettes and booze. <laughs> oh no. All we have, we don't have any food. All we have is cigarettes and booze. Let's go to the scout campfire and cook some stuff. There's no way we have no meat, right? Crap, good. Yeah, look at that, we got all kinds of meat. Cook some of that. Eat that right now. Plain venison. Arthur's getting kind of thick now. We're getting kind of... Ooh. He's getting some cheeks. Love how he's just putting the the meat directly in the wood. <laughs> Advanced graphics. Okay, plain game, please. Brap. I would like to confirm. Three satellites. We need we need food. We can't let our Arthur lose all this weight we've worked. How much plain game do I have, dog? Did we find the infinite plain game glitch? Tonics. 
potent health cure all day, man. All day, man. I only play this game because there's potions. If there's no potions, there'd be no way I'd be able to beat this game. Who, who am I hearing like fucking breathe? Yo, what? Yo, what? I just hear a man breathing in my fucking ear. And he's, he's, he's just standing here fucking crotch height to my eyes. Anything else? Smoking a cigarette? What is this? What is this? What are you? Maka. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break. I need to use the little boys room. I'll be right are back though, well, guys. Morgan? I'll see you in a what couple happened? minutes.
Hello. Hi, we're back. Well, I'm alive, Miss Grimshaw. These girls, Mr. Morgan, they're driving me to despair. Why? No gratitude and no manners. This younger generation, it saddens me. The world is ruined. Me, all the time? The world is ruined. These younger generation watches too much Skibbity Toilet. Let's see what Mr. Micah has for us. Maka! Let's go, Mr. Arthur. Maka! Maka? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a cornered tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but... We got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> this ain't the time for tigers. What do we have here? Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. What's really going on? You know... I've been fighting Colm for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. I'm just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had... Pinkerton's coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Hmm? And we really afford to be fighting on all Look these out. fronts. And O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, 
You ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us, hmm? Okay. Just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Oh. What's really going on in this mission? Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como O'Driscoll might be full of shit. The province of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth it. Believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. We'll be there. I'll be there too, boys. Don't worry. Don't worry, boys. I'll be there too. Uh. I'll show up and I'll 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 hang out with you guys and we'll we'll have a couple beers and smoke a couple L's, you know what I mean? Oh, I don't got that rifle on me. really going on hello Dutch it's been a while <clears throat> sure so uh, how's your gang doing they still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I 
liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Beating the fuck off me. I don't know. Colin's got a sense. Handing him over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. <laughs> With this fella Colin's right, we can draw them all back. He's escaping. Shoot him. Relax. Relax. I got him. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> uh, no, of course not. Uh, not yet. But I will. Didn't kill me. Yo. Finally, put his weapons over there. Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Say nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. But why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Colm. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point cabin. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Colm. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you. Hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He's gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> ourselves on her head.
Michael, home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? <gasps> Do you have a gun? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Arthur's gonna fucking die, dog. Holy man. Fuck these old Driscoll fucking pigs, dog. So fucking crazy. She got me home. That's a good horse. That's a good girl. Arthur. Arthur? Horse. I told you it was just up to us. My boy. My dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Lost all the weight we gained. But the crazy fucking buck. Is our spirit animal? That would be a diamond in Call of the Wild. That might even be a great one. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well. Take care of yourself. You too. <sighs> How are you doing? 
The gang have replaced my stolen weapons. That's very kind of them. Wow, I don't even know what to do now. I think, uh... I think we might end the stream here. I'm pretty pleased with this. This was this was a good episode. I'm pretty pleased with this. I, as always, I appreciate you guys. Um, we've been getting a lot of support on YouTube. It's very nice. I'm very pleased with that. I uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. If you're watching on YouTube, have a good rest of whatever you're having. And, uh, yeah, bye.